Good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. We are ready to keep going on these raised beds. I've got half of them done and ready to go. It's been a couple weeks since I did the tongue oil on them, so it has soaked in and cured well. And if you wipe your hand on what used to be this very sooty board, it comes up relatively clean. Still a little bit of oil and soot residue that'll come up, but that's the difference in a board that has had tongue oil soaking in on it for a couple weeks compared to one that has not just black soot. So I'm going to assemble this first pair of beds and then we have actually totally changed our minds about where they are going to go in uh, classic Bedford's fashion, which basically means anytime I tell you our plan, it might not be the first iteration of that plan we had already thought about. And then usually between the time that I film myself telling you guys what the plan is and when we actually execute the plan, whatever it may be, we've usually changed our minds again at least once, sometimes more than once. So, to quickly summarize, originally we were going to make use of this kind of strip here next to the sidewalk and we were gonna do staggered beds kind of running up this way. We are instead going to move them up here on this upper side of the hill that we don't really ever use because that's what my wife decided she wanted to do and make it a little bit easier. So that's what we're gonna do. Because as we should all know, happy wife, happy life, words to live by. So I am going to go ahead and screw these boards together and then carry them over here in the yard. And we're gonna figure out where we need to do a little bit of digging and grading to get them set in place. And this is actually a bunch of pretty good topsoil um, dirt that we brought over from a job site today. Um, we were doing a deck project, so we had some dirt we needed to get off site. And I have the perfect place for it, which is some new raised beds. What do you think? I love it. I love the color. Oh, the color is so cool. It is cool. cool. Not bad for a first attempt. So we'll do, we got our line of them. They're a little farther down the hill than I showed a few minutes ago, but we'll do our second line of them right here once they're done. Yeah, have a nice little walkway about this size. Mm-hmm, a couple feet walkway in between all of them. Now we eventually are going to maybe plant some trees, some like what evergreens or something around the yeah. perimeter of the yard one day. So we're leaving some room, ball cypress, leaving some, <laughs> leaving some room for them up on the upper section of the hillside. And yeah. Deer resistant. Deer resistant. Mm. We got to get rid of that stupid cable dish too that I still have not bothered to deal with since we bought the house a year and a half ago. Bam, they're done, or well, they're in place. We gotta do a little bit of digging. To, we're not gonna have them sit perfectly level, but you can clearly see they're not uh, sitting quite right. So we'll we'll do a slight amount of trenching to get them to sit a little bit more level, or a little bit more flat, I should say, not necessarily level, and then start putting dirt in them and getting ready to paint. Thank you for mm -hmm. all your work, hopefully. 
you know, it'll be worth it, all the peppers we grow. Oh yes, we like to eat a lot of jalapenos, so we'll be growing peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers. cucumbers. Oh, we're doing, um, we're doing beans this year. All sorts of good stuff. So yeah, we'll be, this is, yeah, we'll keep working on this later and uh, check back sometime soon. Later. Okay, so it has been a few months since we first got the garden going and we have done a few things to it in those few months, uh, but it has been growing and flourishing and we already have a pretty good stock of vegetables going. So this whole drawer, cucumbers are all out of our garden and they're not little cucumbers either. They're good sized cucumbers. So, I figured it's time for a garden update. And we have, I don't remember if we said already, but this is definitely gonna end up being a very temporary garden situation. This is like basically to just get us going this Careful spring and back. summer. But yeah, this is gonna end up being a very temporary situation, but it's definitely been good to set it up and kind of see how, see how it's working out. We've learned some things already <laughs> and We'll get into it. Okay, we should definitely put a picture in of our friend that we rescued. Oh yesterday. yes. Lesson number one, no we're not gonna use netting. this small cheap netting again. We have some cattle fencing that we got. Um, did we get that from my brother? Uh-huh. Yeah, some cattle fencing. We just haven't put it up, so we did a quick down and dirty, uh, basically stakes with these little this little plastic netting, and something got caught in it yesterday. Yeah, a little black snake got caught in <sighs> it. Yeah. Little, and by little, we mean like what, probably three to four feet long, probably. Yeah, but he was probably like two years old. He wasn't yeah. that old. But um, he was caught. I was doing dishes and I caught a cat that was under there coming over here and re trying to attack something. And I saw <laughs> something strike at it. And there was like a nice S curve like in the netting. And so I cut him out and. We did rescue him. We rescued him. He was. He was spicy though. He was. He wasn't happy about it. We got him freed and cut loose from the netting and no no bites inflicted yeah. on anyone. But see, now the stuff's growing so tall and yeah. it's growing on this, it's getting weighted down and something ate, I'm guessing it was a deer, and it ate the leaves on here. So we just need something around the whole garden mm -hmm. next time. But this well, the other week, something had come over here and like ate the whole top cucumber. of this cucumber yeah, plant. It came back. Yeah. But the problem is, was that when we first started doing it, it was in the middle of the drought, and I yeah. couldn't get the stakes in the ground because <laughs> it was too hard. Yeah. So I just did it around here because I didn't want anything to eat them. But we've got and a lot of cucumbers, and we've got oh. Oh wow, this is a good one. Yeah, we get, and these are um, Boston. Mm -hmm pickling cucumbers so they're a different variety than they're a different variety than like the ones you see at the store they're actually fairly sweet and then we have these little guys we ate a few of them already these are mexican sour gherkins or cucamelons and they are here and over there this is tomato right right yeah, here tiny tomato, tomato. But here's another, I saw a cucumelon for a second. This is the only red variety right we there. have of tomato. The rest are the green zebra, and you can see two really nice ones on here. That will probably be ready to fry this week. Fried green tomatoes, baby. And then here's some more cucumelons. Cucumelons. Basically for our first really, I don't know, hodgepodge thrown together garden attempt, it's turning out pretty well. One lesson is definitely, I mean, regardless of what, we'll probably use the cattle fencing, I think, in the future to keep the deer and other animals away. We have a groundhog friend that always comes up through our pumpkin patch, which is now growing again, but he's always chilling out here in our yard. Yeah, he, he hasn't gotten to the garden, no, but we have, 
mind if he did. But we have, we need to use, we need to fence out, we need to fence out farther away, not just the actual raised beds themselves, for sure. Um, what's this, basil? Purple basil. Purple basil. It smells really good. Yes, it good? does. We will definitely be building a, I mean, basically a bigger footprint for a garden for sure next year when we can do it a little bit. We were honestly lazy about it this whole spring. Like that's why, I mean. It's hard to, it's hard to establish a garden yes. from scratch in April. <laughs> well, yeah, we started building the actual, like the very first video in the series about building raised beds was filmed sometime in March and it is currently the first week or almost halfway through August actually. So that gives you an idea of how long this process has been stretching out and that was a lot of like we kind of got the wood prepped but then like the beds sat or they, these beds sat for at least a month before we actually got them. I put them together, we filled them up with dirt and then she planted stuff fairly quickly after that but then we haven't really done a lot other than Throwing together some fencing when it was clear that we were going to need to where it was all going to get eaten by all of our local deer friends. And so we'll definitely do a better job next time, I would say. But this is a really good... It's I good to... It wasn't going to be perfect this year and yeah. that's okay. And, I'm and it's good to do something and then learn how to do it better next time. Yeah. And the raised beds themselves, I think, worked out fine. Oh, like yeah. the stuff is growing in them well. But we're probably um, gonna have to move them yes. due to another exciting thing. But. I've lost track of how many times I've said on videos since we bought this house. We're coming up on two years in this house, aren't we? Do you remember when we bought it? Twenty-two. Well, I meant what October? month? October. October. Well, two. We moved in in October. Oh yeah. Well, we moved in right after we bought it. Almost two years in this house, and we have gone through quite a few different. Um, rounds of talking and planning about what we're gonna do. We were talking this afternoon about a pretty big addition just straight off the back of the house. Um, but we have to get new HVAC this year. That's our big our big uh, expensive project for this year, which is not fun, but it needs to be done. But it will potentially involve relocating these two heat pumps farther up the hill to allow for a big kitchen and living room uh, addition off the back of the house, which was a uh, discussion or an idea of mine at one point potentially hers as well but it wouldn't work with the heat pumps where they are because we can't build over top of them and at the time we weren't planning on trying to relocate them but we need to replace them so might as well relocate them while we replace them so we're always doing some we're always in the middle of a renovation or talking about future renovations so you probably heard lots of stuff like that on this channel over the last couple of years but hey you want something cool these are weeds, and I decided not to pick them because something is enjoying eating them, clearly. But they're nice. they're in turn not eating the plants. The plants. Nice. So whatever this is, they prefer. We it tricked over. them. Well, I didn't. Do it. <laughs> whatever it is, they prefer it. Well, we will probably check back in later as we continue having more things grow and harvest, and then we'll end up ending this series a little later in the fall once we're sort of, I guess, done growing everything for the year. And then there'll probably be a whole nother new garden, like rebuilding a bigger and better garden 2.0 or something like that next English, year. English garden. English garden. Yeah, we had th this, I mean, it's already, I've already covered it, but this, this garden is totally different than what it was originally discussed. We were gonna do it down here. We moved it, you know, up here to the top of the yard. So we're always changing our mind or just deciding to do things differently than I say we're gonna do them sometimes so it's always an adventure around here three weeks later just kidding <laughs> we're done now so we went on vacation last week and while we were gone for the six days we were gone for I think or five days or however long it ended up being uh, things dried out a little bit you can't tell it right now, but we also had uh, some deer pretty much eat up the rest of our uh, vegetables and plants and stuff. So it's not later in the fall, but we're done growing for the year. The corpses of our remaining plants are going to go in the compost bin. Courtney left a few of the plants here. Our little, I think this is a marigold, uh, our little flower. And then 
we had a whole bunch of these dragon breath plants in the front when we bought the house and we did not plant this it just uh it just popped up somehow which is weird because this dirt came from i think all of this dirt came from someone else's house except for the topsoil that we put down so i have no idea how we ended up with this lovely little dragon's breath plant here but we do so it's here for now we we'll also tore off all of the little crappy plastic netting that I had said we put on temporarily, or, well, as our attempt to keep the deer off clearly didn't work. We also have a whole lot more dirt here now. We were, uh, we're working on a big addition project, and this is all the extra dirt that we didn't need to do the grading uh, around the new addition. So I'll get to use it to flatten out some of the holes and depressions in my yard. Uh, but yeah, that means that we are now at the end of this, uh, hopefully version one of the Bedford's attempt at gardening, which is what this has turned out to be. <laughs> so come back, uh, maybe next spring. We'll try this again a little bit more, uh, we'll say intentionally. And let's be honest, we'll probably a little bit better job than this one was. Uh, there's probably some of you guys watching that are like, yeah, I knew this was going to happen. And Oh well, you know, you live and you learn. So it's okay to admit that you make mistakes every so often. But it was a good trial run and that's what matters. So that's the end of Garden version one. Stay tuned, we got more, lots more stuff coming. Uh, house projects, fishing videos, all that good stuff. See you on the next one.